Hey guys, today we're going to build another slide. This time we're going to build a waterfall slide. The slide we're going to build today looks something like this. And with that, let's jump into it. All right, on the screen, I've got some data that's going to be the inspiration for our slide. Now, this is a bank's operating expense growth. First thing we need to do is figure out what exactly is this slide trying to say? And is it telling a good story or not? So the main point I can see here is overall growth of operating expenses is 6.9%. Now that feels a little high to me. So let's take this data and build our own slide and see if we can improve the story and put a more optimistic spin on the numbers. All right, let's go. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is drop in a waterfall chart and populate the data. There we go. The next thing to look at is the colors. The totals are a neutral color. Increases, in this case it's cost, so increases are red and decreases are green. So let's do that. There we go. Um, now let's change the formatting of the labels to indicate the uh, order of magnitude and those dollars. Great, this isn't telling the best story as I said. It's showing that uh, operating expense growth is something like 7%, which is quite high. So when I look at these expenses, I can see different types of expenses. Now, some of them are business as usual expenses. That's stuff like the investment spend, it happens every year. Uh, volume expenses, again, it's business as usual, and I guess other as well. Then there are some expenses that are more like once off. So for example, remediation, that's due to a compliance issue. And also like COVID related costs. Again, we don't expect COVID to happen um, again, fingers crossed. So again, that's a once off. So one thing that we can do is we can remove the once off expenses or at least separate them from the rest. Um, Cause we try, we can try and say that our expense growth isn't due to general operating expense growth. It's actually due to a bunch of one off expenses. So let's try that. Okay, they're starting to look a little bit better. Now let's have a look at what the growth is. Okay, now we're saying growth of our general operating expenses is 1.8%. And let's compare that with total growth, 6.9%. So that's telling a better story. We're saying, okay, our operating expense growth, excluding the once-offs is within a range that seems reasonable. Now the next thing that we can do to make the story a little bit more palatable is try and explain some of our general expense growth. Now I'm gonna pull these explanations from our original source that I showed in the beginning of the, um, of the video. I'll drop those in now. Okay, so that adds more color um, and a better spin around some of our expenses. There's a couple of things we need to do now. One is we need to label the chart. Labeling and making sure that everyone understands exactly what they're looking at is very important. So I'll do that one now. And the final thing we should do is add a lead in. Now, most people just put a title there. They might just say operating expense growth or something like that. In reality, to make this really clear, you should put the insight there. Something along the lines of excluding once-offs, uh, expenses only grew by 1.8% in FY20. So there we go. That is our waterfall chart in ThinkSell and PowerPoint. So the key takeaways from this video are, it's important to think about not what the data says immediately, but how to take what the data says and put a spin on it that tells the story that you're trying to tell. Okay, if you have any questions or comments, please drop them in the comment box down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And finally, if you like this kind of stuff and you wanna learn more about how to make really impactful slides in PowerPoint and ThinkSell, check out slidescience.co where we have a course that covers all of this stuff. That's it, thanks very much.